We're out here in the chicken yard uh, harvesting sunchokes or Jerusalem artichokes or sunroot. Lots of common names for this pretty amazing plant, Helianthus tuberosus. And the reason we're digging it up right now is we're in the midst of fall shipping. Uh, so we're digging up these tubers, packaging them for folks and shipping them off. Normally, when we harvest sunchokes, we like to do it in the spring so that after the whole winter, uh, the roots get a lot sweeter. But you can harvest in the fall as well. What I want to show you in this video is just how loaded these plants can be. It's a huge amount of food that they keep in the soil, even in the context of a chicken yard where they're scratching all day every day. So let me show you what I mean. A few weeks ago, this sunchoke patch was completely green, loaded with flowers, probably eight to 10 feet tall. This variety is called Stampede. It's one of the varieties we offer through our website, along with Red Fuso and some other neat varieties. Uh, I cut them back mainly so that it's easier for me to see what I'm working with. If you're growing them yourself and you're not interested in cleaning up in the fall, uh, you absolutely can just let them stand and be there over winter. But I cut them back and now we're starting to actively dig them out. And so for the sake of this video, I just wanted to show how many sunchokes we can get from partially harvesting just this one area. We've had this ring around here in part to keep the chickens out, but this plant's so hardy, if you were to plant them out and just lay some logs or rocks even, the, with 60 plus hens, they haven't been able to dig out these roots much. So, let me pull this out of the way. Excuse me, ladies. They'll hopefully figure that out. You can see they're already super interested just from the worms that are in there. This first stalk that fell over, so I haven't even picked up a shovel yet. There are a couple right there. Now that's a pair, it's unrelated. <laughs> You can see it's productive enough that they actually were heaving themselves out of the soil as they produced this year. Last year, we dug in this patch very aggressively, harvesting every last piece we could possibly find. And this is what's grown back. So if I focus my harvest just on this one shovelful, The hens are very much interested in the worms and the fungi and all the different little creatures in the soil. They do not eat the sunchokes. It's pretty helpful. They certainly fertilize them. They certainly provide a whole lot of weed control, although sunchokes don't need that. This gives you an idea of the size that they can get to. Let me pull this, I have this little short fence here to protect from the chickens digging too much. This is one shovel full. Stampede is known for making some pretty huge tubers. We tend to ship smaller ones, it's a little easier for you to plant. But once you get going with them, in a year or so, they can produce tubers that size. Let me pause here. This is the yield so far from plunging my shovel once into the patch and prying up, I don't know, 15, 20 pounds, 15 pounds or so, nearly a full bucket of this size. I haven't actually picked through for every last fleck in there. The beauty with sunchokes, once they're established, so year one, you want to plant them, maybe you even put mulch around them, protect them from deer and the like. Once they're established, once they're locked into the landscape, Every year you can harvest in the fall or the spring with the intent of getting every last sunchoke out of the soil and they rebound and respond to that with incredible growth the next year. Insanely hardy, very productive, whole lot of food, 
compatible with growing in a chicken yard, partial shade. They're a wonderful native plant. We love growing them and we hope you do too. Thanks for watching.